Sorry, friends, and YouTube, Clarissa here. I am back with another video, my sweet friends. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments last night for my video that I did it, um, yeah, last night. And uh, the support and the love and encouragement, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And this video is going to be about pigmentation of the skin, uh, which is a great deal um, for some of you. And it is a thing that is difficult to treat uh, but in several cases you're able to get rid of it or or slow down um, the process of pigmentation in your skin so let me start defining uh, what pigmentation is and how it processes while you expose to sunlight and so uh, pigmentation is the presence of melanin which is a uh, black brown protein which is found um, in the brain and certain cells um, such as the brain and intestines and hair and so um, there are several factors uh, why uh, pigmentation um, takes place in your body uh, so it, the external factors which is the sunlight are uh, exposed to chemicals and other environment factors that will um, make it worse uh, and it will um, activate more the presence of melanin, extra melanin uh, that eventually becomes uh, the skin blotchy with uh, dark spots and so uh, when you get older it gets darker and some people call it uh, liver spots uh, so uh, there are many things that you could do uh, to um, get rid of them uh, like I said in some cases uh, it's not easy um, to uh, get rid of it but at least you could uh, prevent them from getting uh, darker and growing more on your skin So another factor uh, that plays a role in pigmented skin is genetics. Uh, so uh, the more melanin you have, like I said, the darker the skin is. And um, the factor of being exposed uh, to the sunlight is another issue. Um, so that's why you need to be protected with uh, sun protection uh, to be able to avoid um, stimulating or activating too much melanin uh, which eventually will form a blotchy dark spots. On another hand, melanocytes which are the skin cells responsible uh, to form pigment in your skin uh, they serve as a site for the production of vitamin D when you're exposed to the sun. So there are good things when you are exposed to the sun, but also bad, bad reactions uh, for some people when they're exposed to the sun, uh, especially when they have uh, the generics to uh, produce uh, extra melanin in anybody. And uh, so the results will be those blotchy uh, brown spots and so uh, that's why it's very important to protect yourself with um, sun protection uh, every time you go everywhere because the external factors um, it's not just uh, sunlight but um, the environment um, the chemicals uh, the pollution uh, it will trigger uh, for you to uh, create those uh, brown spots that are so difficult to treat and so uh, I am going to um, uh, recommend some products and so when it comes to uh, treat uh, pigmentation brown spots uh, it is very important uh, to use something that is medical grade or something that has a, a very good potency uh, of um, retinols um, 
such as also our retinate, uh, niacinamide, and uh, glycolic acid as well will be helpful for um, the brown spots, the pigmentation. So um, I am going to show you some products and also give you a home remedy uh, for the uh, girls that cannot afford to buy um, expensive treatments. I am going to show you uh, some uh, products uh, to treat pigmentation uh, which at the same time will help you with the stimulation of collagen and wrinkles. And so um, this is Retin-A which is uh, retinoic acid which is 0.1%. So you have to have a prescription to get these. And, um, uh, Retin-A, it's very good to treat pigmentation and uh, I have another product that um, it's uh, very good uh, for the same reason and, and this is uh, the Differing Gel. Differing Gel uh, for the girls that cannot afford the Retin-A and uh, this is over the counter but it's still is strong and is also zero 0.1% retinoid and so um, this uh, will help with acne as well. Uh, Retin-A, the same thing, it is formulated originally to treat acne and so um, you have to use it with caution. Uh, try to concentrate in the areas that are pigmented. And another product uh, that I'm going to show you it is uh, the uh, Peter Thomas Roth and this is 3% retinoid. Um, this is a very good product uh, for the same um, issues, to treat the same issues, uh, you know, uh, stimulation of collagen, pigmentation, uh, it will help uh, with acne as well uh, because all these products that I'm show you, show you are derived uh, from vitamin A and so uh, it's just a stronger form to treat the skin and so um, these you could find it at Sephora and Another one uh, which is medical grade, it is the uh, collagen biologin neologin oil. This is the neologin oil. Now this is very, very strong. It's 20% niacinamide and it has other agents to treat pigmentation and uh, stimulation of collagen uh, helps to brighten the skin. All these products that I show you will help to brighten the skin. The, the key is to brighten. You know, if those uh, dark spots get brightening uh, gradually, um, eventually you'll get rid of them. But all depends because um, sometimes if the pigmentation has been there for many, many, many years, um, it is very hard to treat it. And so uh, neologin oil, uh, you have to use it with caution. You have to start like one day and see how the skin feels and then, uh, you know, uh, do it two times a week or three times a week maximum. But uh, this is an excellent product. Um, I know uh, some of the girls have ordered these and um, I had an email from um, a girl from uh, UK that she ordered and she says, oh, my skin got all red and, and irritated, but it's because it's very strong. You cannot use it um, every day. You cannot use it every day. You have to use, uh, like I said, starting one day uh, per week and then increase to uh, days per week and because I think she was using every day and so uh, do not refrigerate this product uh, just keep it in a cool place okay uh, already so um, now I am going to show you um, a home recipe for the girls that cannot afford um, the products that I just show you and so I, I am going to uh, I'm not going to show you but I'm going to tell you the recipe Okay, so uh, you're going to go to the store and get some um, milk cream um, and milk. If it's possible, raw, uh, organic, okay? And what you're going to do is take uh, two uh, tablespoons of uh, stone ground white rice uh, powder, flour. 
Okay, so uh, two tablespoons of the rice flour, and and now you're going to take uh, two tablespoons to three tablespoons of uh, raw organic milk. If you don't have raw milk, at least organic milk, and then two tablespoons of the uh, cream of the milk. And uh, if you can find raw, will be very nice. Okay, so now and half of a lemon, I squeeze the lemon, and do it every single day, every single day, and you will see some results. Don't just do it one night and then wake up and say, "Oh, my pigmentation didn't go away." It's not going to happen that way because the pigmentation took years to be able to uh, you know show up in your skin so you have to give it time um, you know to um, do the treatment and slowly it will brighten and, and get lighter those uh, um, pigmented spots so uh, this is a great um, a great um, solution to a uh, treat uh, pigmented skin stimulate collagen and uh, the rice, uh, by nature, helps to brighten the skin. Um, Asian women uh, are very big in using rice products because it makes the skin whiter, bright, brightens the skin. Okay, so let's talk about hydrocanine cream, which is a formula uh, to treat um, brown spots and pigmentation. I am not going into... Uh, deep details about hydrocanine, uh, just uh, information and know for you to understand the side effects. A lot of the YouTubers are promoting hydrocanine using with uh, uh, Retin-A. Okay, so hydrocanine, um, just in simple words, hydrocanine, it is a terrible product um, because it destroys the skin cells. Gradually, your skin will age. The skin cells will degrade, therefore uh, you are accelerating the aging process of your skin. So uh, that's about hydrocanine. It is a terrible product for your skin cells. That's all I have to say. And uh, now let's emphasize about lasers uh, that they use for photo aging, uh, pigmentation, um, uh, stimulation of collagen. As a hydrocanine, you know, treats uh, brown spots, yes, treats brown spots, but has the side effects. The same thing with the lasers. Uh, it has this terrible side effect that dissolves the adipose layer because of the intense heat. So um, doctors don't tell you that uh, because uh, I was partner with a doctor uh, several years ago in a clinic and um, that was one of the reasons I have to leave the clinic because um, they were uh, coming for training uh, for Fraxel. So I got trained for, for Fraxel, but during the training I didn't know uh, the, um, the information about uh, the side effects completely and so it was until uh, a patient came crying after she had done um, a Fraxel treatment with somebody in a clinic and uh, she was complaining about uh, the thinning of the skin and so I overheard and then I went into uh, deep research uh, actually went uh, training overseas and so um, I find out the side effects after uh, the incident with the lady. And um, so uh, when I come back to the clinic, um, the uh, trainers were there and uh, I told the training out loud so everybody can hear because I hate when people are deceiving. You know, the poor patients had no idea and I said it out loud and I said, don't you know that lasers uh, affect the adipose layer and you, you guys are performing lasers on patients that have 
fillers, derma fillers, and uh, so it's dissolving the derma filler as well. And you don't you don't tell them what it why because the more you dissolving the filler, uh, the more they're gonna come for more filler, uh, derma filler, and so. Um, I had to leave the clinic. Uh, it, it, I, I couldn't work in, in that type of uh, deception. And so um, that's what happened. You get uh, the side effect and gradually will dissolve the adipose layer. Uh, so it's not going to happen, uh, you know, immediately uh, a good portion of your adipose layer is going to dissolve. It's going to be gradually we continue doing it. So uh, lasers, uh, they're going to make you look temporary good because it takes several months to uh, stimulate collagen. But after that, you have to continue doing it and then you are risking your adipose layer. So that's about lasers and I know uh, a lot of doctors probably hate me because of this but this is uh, the truth, okay? You have derma fillers, do, do not do lasers. You're going to dissolve the derma filler. Uh, the heat is intense, that's why they have to put numbing cream for a whole hour on your face. Uh, medical grade numbing cream because you, you can't now handle a laser without uh, any type of uh, numbing cream, you, you, you won't be able to handle it. It's, it's really painful. I had never um, done a, a laser on my skin. The doctor at the time was saying to me, try it, try Clarissa so you can tell the, uh, the patients, but I, have, I was never like uh, attractive to that type of treatment. But I did uh, try a spot like here and it was so painful. I didn't have a numbing cream or anything. I just did it like that. It was so painful and I said, oh no, this is not for me. But uh, anyways, uh, the, the video is going to be so long, gross. And um, this is about pigmentation and uh, try to, you know, um, have a good diet as well because you know, if your body is not clean, uh, the more clean your body is, uh, you have m more results, faster results uh, to uh, restore uh, your skin. Okay, girls, I will see you later, and I'm sorry about this long video. Okay, bye-bye, you take care, bye.